Hi Sequels friends! Today we are doing another thrift haul and this time it is a Goodwill Bins haul. So if you want to see what I got at the bins, how much money I spent, and how much money I think I can gross, then just keep on watching. wonderful to have you here. Thank you so, so much for returning to my channel. I really do appreciate your support. If you happen to be new, my name is Heather and I am a part-time reseller and I use this YouTube channel to document my journey. All right, folks, you know the drill. I'm going to give you the details of the haul and then we're going to get right into showing you all the pieces. So I ended up picking up 27 items when I was out at the bins and the cost was $48. Now I did get several higher price pointed coat items. So what I did was I made the cost of those three most expensive items $7.67 and I made the cost of everything else just $1. That breakdown ensures that I can net a higher profit. <laughs> You gotta get creative sometimes, folks. If I cost average all those items, my average retail is in the 24 to 34 range, but I have some things as low as $9.99 and some things getting listed for as high as $79.99. So um, overall, I am hoping, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys this up front, I am hoping to make anywhere between $637 and $929 on this haul. If you've watched any of my update recaps on unboxing, Boxings and hauls, you know that I usually come towards the lower end of that um, projection as I do project high because I am constantly sending offers to watchers, offers to likers, and I also want to make some wiggle room for holiday sales. They're just sheer energy legs. They do look like they're pantyhose that you could still get your hands on now. And the going rate on um, eBay was $9.99 with free shipping. I picked them up on a whim just because I heard pantyhose sell and I was kind of hoping that they might be vintage, but it doesn't look like they are. You know they cost next to nothing in the bins with how light this is. So this is more of a learning um, curve for me to experiment and try new things which I love to do when I'm at the bins but probably in retrospect was not in my effort worth a pickup because I don't like to sell stuff that's gonna net me probably five dollars when all said and done now these items I'm all I'm listing in the um, anywhere between I'm hoping to get anywhere between $12 and $19 for them. Um, a lot of these are blouses. Um, tops sell really well for me, as you guys know, if you've watched any of my recent, um, what sold videos, but they do tend to go for a lower amount. This one I picked up, it is just Democracy. I don't know a ton about that brand besides you can get it at Belk. It's just a really cute tee, kind of, um, like a jazzed up basic tee because it does have a little bit of a cold shoulder, almost more like a cutout because it's not the whole shoulder. And then it has all this really pretty um, crochet lace detail. And I don't know if you could see it, but running through the middle is some um, matching crochet detail too. I love this top. I think it is so cute. It is Artisan New York and it is a size um, large. There you go. It is 100% linen, boxy tee in that very natural, pretty linen coloration. And then it has fun um, yellow and navy embroidery at the sleeves and also a beautiful navy and yellow bo embroidery border across the bottom. And then what I love about this tee is its versatility it is a button-up back, but it looks like the silhouette of the front and the back are the same. So if you got rid of that tag there, you could wear it button forward, you could wear the button in the back, or you could button forward and leave it, you know, just open. So as a layering piece. This is super moody floral. I love the coloration in this. Um, very lightweight and thin. You can see here that it is long sleeve, but you can also see here that it does have the roll tab sleeve. Another thin, lightweight um, blouse. 
in a um, really pretty peachy kind of silhouette or um, color. It is uh, Lush. That is a Nordstrom brand and it's a size large if I remember. Yeah. See if you can see that little pink L there. It's a size large. Bit oversized, more like a tunic. There is a curved high-low hemline and it has its own <laughs> roll tabs. Um, so it has three-quarter length sleeve. Size large. Another sheer blouse. This one is in navy. Also kind of um, a boxy silhouette with a v-neck and then it is accented at the collar and the cuff with bright white. The last item in this price point of hoping or listing for 19 and hoping to make at least 12 is just very basic and it is Champion. The Champion Athletic. It, it is a black basic zip up hoodie. Nothing fancy, but whenever I have Champion and I list it, it does move quickly um, within that price point. So again, worth the pickup when you're paying Ben's price. This next stack is in the 14 to 24 range. So listing at 24 and hoping to get at least 14 for it. I have one in a bag. Let me just show you that so it'll stop sliding off my lap. Um, I already bagged it up. Um, I, I don't know why I already backed it up because I already listed it and sometimes my office is so small shit just gets in my way and I'm like back it up and put it away. Um, you could tell it is a super chunky orange um, infinity scarf. It is the long infinity scarf. Um, I'll pop a picture up here so that you can see what it looks like. Um, just super chunky banana republic infinity scarf. Um, I thought this was cute with all the ski wear that is popular um, for winter. And it is Eddie Bauer. I cannot for the life of me figure out if this is vintage or not. And um, I can't find a dang one like it anywhere on the internet. But it is just a Fair Isle um, winter hat, beanie hat. Um, this is exactly as it came in the bins. I do need to soak it. And it is 100% yeah, 100% wool. I love this blouse, and I am never going to be able to know how to pronounce this. All I think of when I see it is Gulia, like Julia Gulia. Um, and it is, I picked it up because it says um, made in Italy, but then also for the silhouette. Let me back up so you can see this. It is really, really cute. Long sleeve with a little bit of a poof. Silky, silky, um, like a gray, grayish brown. Long, long to where I think it could even be a mini skirt in addition to a tunic. And then in the back, it has two tie detail. And you can see underneath it has, um, it's an open flyaway back and it has a little lace underneath. And then that, um, sorry, it has like a basic knit underneath with lace border. And that lace does stick out. It's really pretty, pretty coloration. Now I did notice, see if it's going to show up on camera. There does look like there's a little bit, I felt like when I had it on Miss Manny Quinn, I could see a little bit of discoloration in the armpit area. Um, I have never had that with anything. I don't know, this hasn't been washed yet, so I don't know if it needs just a good washing. Usually for stains, I use just some dish liquid. Um, but if you guys have any tips and tricks for some armpit stains, let me know because I haven't washed it yet. And then I had to pick this up. I know it's not vintage. This is one of those items that when you first see it, you're going to hope it's vintage because, I mean, <laughs> when I went thrifting with my partner and he's like, oh, it's saved by the bell. So it looks like 90s vintage, but you can tell from the label it's Eldon, but also you can tell it just has that medium there. The other label is inside on the side. That in itself is a sure sign that it's um, more current. And then also it has all those washing symbols on it so you know it's current. But just for the retro feel of it, I had another one similar, this bright yellow color but with all little sunglasses on it in, um, 
and it's men's sizing and it ended up selling within a week of listing so I'm really excited to see how this one does. Just to preface because I'm gonna have a few of them that have stains on them. I had my cart ready to go and we were going to check them over and then I had a friend that was gonna stop by unexpectedly so I took the risk of not checking them all over um, <laughs> before I went home. So thankfully I only so far have noticed three of them that have staining on them and none of them have been washed to know if it's going to come out or not. This, um, in retrospect, wasn't a great pickup. Um, I liked it because it's king size, fringe size for men's, and it is also a double XL and they are a hundred percent linen, no, 55% linen, 45% rayon, and they're a cargo pant. I just thought that the extra large sizing and the cargo pant linen silhouette would be good, um, but the pricing, you know, is still in that 14 to 24 range, so not uh, super high. Um, it is WAN. It's um, a denim vest with two front patch pockets. It does have the zip front and it is lined with some polyester um, insulation in there. So almost like a little bit like a puffer vest. Relativity. But it is a 2X and I like the silhouette so I picked it up. It is a black floor and it is in that um, jean jacket silhouette three items in the 19 to 29 price range and this is my last item that has a stain on it those king size pants I didn't show you because I knew it was gonna take me forever to find the stain but they actually had a very very faint stain on it um, and then this dress unfortunately does too this is banana Republic I do sell banana Republic very well but I don't um, pick it up anywhere besides the bins I won't pay more than bins pricing for it um, I had to get this because of this gorgeous jewel tone burgundy color. Perfect for holiday. It does have a v-neck with a little bit of a cowl and then it has these really cute elastic um, velour um, accents on there. Didn't mean to flick you off but that's how I feel about this stain. <sighs> it looks like um, there's some more at the side too. It looks like an oil, so I am going to try some dish liquid on that because I've gotten oil out before, but you know, fine. And I have to tell you, most every Calvin Klein dress that I've purchased has sold for me quite well. And this goes on all on the um, trends that I was talking about when I did my fall winter trend list because it is not only ribbed knit, but it is a knit long sleeve sweater dress. And it has a little bit of a um, puff balloon sleeve, the oversized cowl turtleneck, a little tie here at the waist. And then this is something that my partner picked up and he was really excited about it. And I got kind of excited about it because he was excited about it. And it is a fun find, but it is not what I would call highly valuable in that we are here at the 19 to 29 price range. It's basically a coverall, a flight suit. So I've seen a lot of retro um, fashionistas and bloggers um, styling flight suits, which I think is super fun. Um, but I don't know, I mean, it looks like it's a little saturated on, um, on eBay. And the, um, show you the pants. So that dictates the price point and I'm not sure if people, you know, enjoy these to use them as coveralls or if people would enjoy styling them for fun. So you could definitely use it for the coveralls, but the styling that I've seen and the only reason why I question the sty styling this is there is a zipper right on the crotch. <laughs> but I've seen them really cute to be worn as like a jumpsuit and they'll roll up the sleeves um, use the velcro here to really take in and cinch the waist and then they also would typically um, peg the leg and wear with heels or something like that for a fun um, take on a jumpsuit. Now we're up to a little bit higher price point and we are in the 29 to 39 range. So here's an 
This, um, I actually pulled these out to see if my partner wanted them because they were workout ones. And then I saw they were Lululemon and I was like, sorry, son, <laughs> you won't be getting those. I believe these are the um, Kung Fu pant. But there is a um, rough on the one cuff. So if you've watched me, you know I have mixed feelings on blazers in that I freaking love them. <laughs> What's that B. Jones style? Make it better with a blazer? I totally agree with her. Anything looks better with a blazer, but I do sometimes have a hard time selling them. But when I found these two in the bins, I decided that it was worth a try. Um, this one I picked up because it's Pendleton. It is in a very wearable size 14, a very standard black silhouette, single button. It is a little bit shorter, but it is wool and it is 100% virgin wool. But it is a wool blend and it is L.L. Bean. Um, this one is in a size medium and it has the front patch pockets. Did I just, yeah, I buttoned her up totally wrong. There you go. It has the front button patch pockets a little bit more cropped at the waist and in a really fun textured, I don't know, it's not, I don't, it's that tweed really pretty. I've sold these vintage shorts twice in a size, like a medium or small size and a plus size. And then I just found the pants. <laughs> these are in a 14. They're in, um, watch out Max. He's trying to get into everything. He loves to sniff all the Goodwill bin stuff. It's like a black and white hound's tooth. They are, um, they do have a bit of elastic at the waist, some pleats at the front, and they are a tapered leg. There is a bit of um, fraying at the hem, so I'm going to see, I'm not really sure if that's going to affect the, how much that's going to affect the price. You know, sequels friends, I don't know why I ever call dibs on any daggum thing for myself. I just need to take it or li not list it. So, this is a, this was quite, uh, big on me but I still loved it it is a oversized denim button-up tunic blouse two front patch pockets the really pretty shell buttons and it is um, soft surrounding so I have overlooked this brand for a while but I've seen several retailers say that it sells and it does seem to sell pretty quickly. Anytime I've listed one, I've sold it quickly. I thought about keeping this for myself and then I said, you know, I'll stick it up there at 39 and I'll take 25 for it. But if anybody wants to pay less than 25, I'm keeping it for myself. Damn it, if it wasn't listed for one day <laughs> and somebody came in and bought it for 25. This so. is Harley Davidson. It is a very wearable size extra large, and I do believe it is vintage. And let me find that tag to show you. And you'll see as I show you the pattern, this is a Harley Davidson Hawaiian shirt, and um, it is actually made in Hawaii. It's 100% viscose and it has an all over um, motorcycle print on it as well as saying Harley Davidson. And the only thing I could see is there is a little bit, it's just a little bit of pull. I might clean that up a little bit so it's not as obvious, but it's just a little bit of a rip there in the side slit. Like I said, some of these are going for 59 and I've seen them go for as low as 39. So I'm excited to see how that does. And I do believe that this is my first ever Harley pickup. This is one that I just have no idea what it's gonna do. Um, my partner pulled it because of the name. And again, we rushed out of there without really looking through everything in our cart. So when we got home, we're like, oh, I guess we're keeping it. Um, it's a trench coat and I sometimes, some trench coats move for me and some don't, and I can't quite figure out what it is about them that makes them move and some not. This um, 
is Bugatti. And it does have Gore-Tex, which I heard is a great mover for a lot of people. And it is a trench. It's just a trench. It's big, oversized. It's pockets hanging out. At least you know I washed it. Um, all sorts of, you can see that branding and detailing. It does have a belt. This is, um, a vintage coat. Um, I haven't dated it yet. Um, it could use a good dry cleaning, which I am not going to do. I will price it a little bit lower and let that, let the person get it cleaned. It doesn't have any buttons or anything on the front, but it does have a, um, belt. So it just totally, you know, wrap it up and tie it up. And it is in a very fun red classic classic red. Michalina Stackpole. This is a designer in Ireland, um, but I can't seem to find that much information on her, and I'm trying to find more information on her to date the piece. The tag itself makes me think that it's, it could be like pre-80s vintage, but the information I'm finding on her isn't saying that. So I have to do a little bit more research, but the silhouette itself looks extremely 80s. I love it. It is a long down um, to uh, below your hips, um, beautifully woven knit sweater with a V neckline. And as you can see, it has those totally 80s gold basket weave buttons. Last up, I can't resist. I picked this up because the inside of the um, dress led me to believe that it might be handmade because it is all basic raw seams. But then I found a tag. And so now I'm pretty darn confident that this is a 1960s dress based on that doesn't exist tag and also based on that standard stitch with no serging or anything. And this is gorgeous. It's a very lightweight woven. <sighs> maxi, maxi um, prairie dress. So you have the V-neck it does have the ties right here. It is maxi length. Really cute, like um, garden green. Um, it's like a tree scene, but then with some little houses in it. And while that is cool, the sleeves are the total piece de resistance. These, I, I measured these. These are 33 inch long bell sleeves. They are insane. I'll pop a picture up right here of the dress showing you the picture that I took of it because it is just stunningly gorgeous. And again, these items are all in the starting at 79 and hoping to make at least 59 for them. So what did you guys think of this haul? Um, What's your favorite item? I gotta tell you, this dress I am in love with, as well as that um, big oversized red sweater. But what is your favorite item? Or what item do you think is gonna be out of here lickety split? And no fair guessing soft surroundings because it is already gone. It will be out of here tomorrow when I ship it. Um, as always, thank you guys for tuning in. If you do find this video enjoyable, useful, helpful in any sort of way, please feel free to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload new videos. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope all of you have a fantabulous weekend. If you can see out there, there is some gorgeous fall weather and I'm going to go out and enjoy it this weekend. And I hope that you guys do too. Have fun guys, stay safe, and I will see you on Tuesday with some more reselling content. Bye everybody. I did pick up 27 items at the bins and the cost was 48 doesn't even make sense. Yeah, the cost. Shit. Hi. Shit. All right, folks, let's get right into the haul. No.